You know, something's been eating my mind recently, and for whatever reason, I can't really seem to shake it. There are a lot of people throwing out predictions on what will happen in Roblox Piggy, and for the most part, they're just throwing out wild accusations to get views without really doing the research. Sure, every now and then, these people might get one or two things right, but with so many different predictions, how can one know what they actually think? Of course, if you guess hundreds of times on something, eventually you can stumble upon the correct answer. But people want to see you arrive at the answer scientifically, so to speak, and not just by sheer luck. I've even tried to make fun of the situation by putting a lot of time and effort making joke predictions to highlight just how dumb they're being. I swore to not become the person that just makes mindless prediction after prediction just to get clicks and would strive to do one good prediction video after each chapter that is both informative and entertaining. But as I said, something's been on my mind. So much so that I had a dream about it last night. Yes, Piggy has completely taken over my life and channel. Thanks, Minitoon. You see, the whole bunny situation really doesn't sit well with me. Before any of you get on to me about not being the first person to come up with this argument and that Creekcraft beat me to it or whatever, Bunny is evil and is pretending to be infected so that she could go back to Mr. P. Bunny is evil part is actually really interesting. This person says Bunny is evil and is pretending to be infected to go back to Mr. P. See, it sounds crazy, but if you think about it, it's actually not too crazy. I refer you back to my video that I posted just this past weekend called A Plot Twist is Coming where I semi-jokingly reveal Bunny to be the bad guy. What if Bunny was playing you all along back in the metro and faked being sick to come back later and kill you? We gotta meet up with her in chapter 10 in some sewer where she's gonna kill Pony. Honestly, that's where all this started. That little joke has seemed to grow in my head into this massive weed that now I just have to talk about it. To break this down, there are really three theories behind this. One is known right now with no plot twist, pretty straightforward. One I've talked about recently and now want to expand on, and one is just straight up crazy. First, let's talk about the obvious. Mr. P is evil, Bunny took the potion, and something happened. At first glance, taking everything at face value, Mr. P gave Bunny a potion that made Bunny not feel very well. This one cutscene really threw people for a loop when it came out, and everyone was quick to say Mr. P was behind it all. Is Mr. P really the mastermind? Do the potions really make people evil? And is TSP actually the good guys trying to stop Mr. P from spreading them? Maybe Bunny will return to help fight alongside you in an epic final battle. I personally don't really buy this as it's raising more questions than answering them. Why would TSP write that Doggy and Foxy got what was coming to them? Were they secretly on Mr. P's side and were caged or taken and given the potion as punishment for betraying the rest of the group? Last video, I started talking about a lot of crazy things. Also, the people telling you Mr. P is behind the dumpster? Are you blind? Do you see this shadow? Mr. P is like, Dummy thick. And this looks like some weird looking french fry. Most people go with the whole molly mole on the account of the no ears thing. And well, why are we rolling out Monsieur Bowling Pin, the French pinhead who secretly loves Zizzy and is just trying to get closer to her? A lot of crazy things. But once I got serious, I dropped a bomb stating that Mr. P was captured and that TSP, known as the Super Potato, was running around acting like Mr. P, framing him for everything. This to me made sense, and one of the clues I used was when Bunny was given a potion by Mr. P. Bunny trusted Mr. P, and if Super Potato was framing him, he could easily be able to attack his friends, such as Bunny, because Bunny trusted Mr. P. Maybe Bunny didn't know the Super Potato was pretending to be Mr. P, and was fooled just like the rest of us were. But if this is the case, why didn't Bunny turn right away? Also, looking at Minitoon's tweet about the new UGC head that we are working on together, Devin actually made a good point stating that we need to remember Bunny for who they were and not who they became. Minitoon replied to that saying, Became, you say? Take that tweet multiple ways. Does it confirm that Bunny didn't become anything? Or was Minitoon just making you think you were wrong and assuming Bunny turned evil just to mess with you? What if Bunny was immune to the potion? Or, what if she never took it? This is where my original joke came into play by having Bunny lie about taking the potion altogether. This is the part that has really been eating at me in the past few days. 
The whole interaction between Mr. P and Bunny was kind of a weird roller coaster that really just doesn't seem to make sense. Remember when I said in my last video that TSP was the mastermind but wasn't acting alone? What if Bunny was his right hand, second in command? What if Bunny is also evil, and the whole plot around Bunny taking the potion was to throw you off, just like I said previously? What if Bunny and TSP are working together, and when Super Potato, who is pretending to mean Mr. P, asked us to save his friend, you were supposed to save the bad guy, his partner in crime? When you went into the sewers and your back was turned to Bunny, Maybe it was Bunny who made you sick by poisoning you while TSP distracted you. This does make sense seeing as TSP was standing a few feet in front of you. How could TSP make you sick standing that far away? By you getting sick, this allowed them both to slip into the hospital and work without issues. You can also explain why TSP left Bunny at the hospital when he was just worried about saving him in the previous chapter. What if Bunny didn't need to be saved at all and was all part of the plan all along to get you three together so they could poison you. The little questions I had in with my previous theory, this does seem to answer. Back to Minitoon's tweet, the became part now references the fact that Bunny didn't become anything, and will return later as the bad guy along TSP. To me, this makes the most sense, and is the prediction I'm currently running with for now on what I think will happen in the end. But let's take this further. Let's get weird. Let's say we aren't giving Bunny enough credit. What if Bunny is the mastermind? What if Bunny was the true evil and Mr. P and TSP were just pawns? It sounds crazy, but with the holes in the story so far, this can't be ruled out as a possibility. Think about it for a second. Mr. P asked you to save his friend in the school. He didn't specify who. Maybe he was friends with Madame Gazelle instead of Bunny. And what if we saved the wrong friend? What if Mr. P was still Mr. P and was shocked to see you and Bunny instead, but before he could call you out, you were sick and rushed to the hospital? He said, you too made it out, not you saved my friend, thank you. What if Mr. P left the hospital early because he was also running away from Bunny? The sole reason any one of us think Mr. P is evil to begin with was because of what Bunny said. If Bunny made the whole thing up, it makes Mr. P immediately innocent again. What if Mini Tombs became a comment on Twitter was meant as a way for you to expand more on what was meant? What if Mini Tombs' plan was to reveal Bunny as evil and that the became comment stating they become evil or were found out to not be the person they thought, like infected? I'll admit, it's still pretty far out there. And it does leave some holes in the plot like, where does TSP fit into all this? If Bunny is the mastermind and TSP is the evil group, what does TSP stand for if not the obvious other options mentioned? Those brief cutscenes at the end of chapters 5 and 7 have now become a pivotal point in the story where the big deception could have taken place. You know, I see this going around a lot, and everyone is always quick to wonder why Piggy has blown up the way it has, and those who jump on the bandwagon just don't seem to understand it at this point. It's the story, and you have to get to at least the fourth chapter to really see things get wild. If you haven't played Piggy, I urge you to try it. Play the first four or five chapters, and see if you don't get into it. Minitoon's ability to tell a story without really telling the story is nothing short of amazing. He gives you just enough to progress the story forward, but leaves out so much that we were all left to speculate these wild ideas. Most are untrue, of course, but with the right research and sources of proof, you can spin the story in many different ways. As for me, I still think Mr. P was captured. I still think someone is impersonating, and now I think Bunny may also be evil and on the TSP team as well. One thing is for sure, when Bunny does make the return that Minitoon has said that they would, they will definitely have some questions that need to be answered. Now as I stated before, I'm not one to make prediction after prediction. I care about quality over quantity, and I want to try to keep this channel entertaining as much as possible. This will be my last prediction video, at least until the next chapter drops and we found out some more information. As for those who have allowed me to play Piggy, for all of you that accepted the number of videos I've done on it, thank you for watching and sticking around. Even if Piggy isn't your thing, don't worry. I'll be back to other videos soon once all of this is all over with. If you are new, feel free to hit that subscribe button. 
I personally don't think you'll regret it, but feel free to ask the comment section down below if it's a good idea to subscribe. I promise I'm not a one-trick pony. See you all in the next video.